Welcome back to Wasteland 2. I had started this episode about 10 minutes ago. Started off right where I left off in the last episode, in the tunnels where I'd killed the cockroaches, looking for Fletcher. But I didn't find him down there. So then it occurred to me that perhaps I'm supposed to... help Lindy Lou get parts for the ventilation system, and perhaps that would allow me to go down into the ventilation shaft? Or something? I mean, I thought the ventilation shafts, where the tracks led, would bring me to where I was with the cockroaches, but it looks like it might be a separate place. Judging by the fact that I did not find Fletcher where I went before. So I'm just gonna start here and cut out my completely useless attempts to actually find Fletcher in the cockroach tunnels. So let's try this instead. Lindy Lou sent us to get some ventilator parts. So she recruited you as gophers, huh? Well, it is awfully civil of you to assist her. We got her request, and we're just waiting for her to come pick them up. Here you go. Thank you kindly, gentle assistant. We normally use the guards to transport heavy merchandise, but you look so strong that I think you'll be fine. Why, thank you. How heavy is it? Fifteen pounds? That's actually not too bad. Uh, I even went through the trouble of taking off everyone's clothes so they wouldn't get them burned off. I guess I'll leave them off just in case I'm going to find steam down here as well. And now we wait. Here you go. Well, thanks, sweethearts. I think I owe you a little token of my appreciation. I don't think that actually did anything. I still can't go into the ventilation shafts. Received a Rhodia ticket. Wait, why would you give me a Rhodia ticket? What? A small ticket signed by one S. Dangler. And good for one entry into Rhodia. Why did you have that on you? Thanks? It's kind of weird. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm missing something here. Hold on, I'll be your right back. Okay, let's try asking Fletcher's wife if she knows anything about him missing. Your husband has escaped the cage. Know anything about it? My husband fled? I'm shocked. I didn't think he had it in him. Uh-huh. You don't sound as shocked as you should. I think you know something. I don't know what you're talking about. I... Alright, I just couldn't stand by and let him die. I got some friends to drag him away, since I knew the poor fool wouldn't leave on his own. And where did your friends drag him away to? You think I'm telling you that? Sorry. He's safe now. And I'll be joining him soon. And we'll all be away from this horrible Manorite Robinson bullshit and, and just be normal people. Nah, I don't have hard ass. Damn it. I don't have enough asses. Who are these friends? No way, I'm not telling. I'm not getting them into trouble. Okay. So, I can't pass that skill check, so in that case, how the hell do I find him? I mean, I already checked the steam tunnels. He's not there. Is he just outside? Like, did he go to a different town? If she's going to meet him there, then maybe they did go to a different town. I mean, if she's going to go live with him, then... Yeah, it must be a completely different location. Hmm. Tell me more about Fletcher. Uh-huh. Is it common for a Manorite to marry a Robinson? No, it's not. But Fletcher is special. He's a sweet, lovable dolt. Okay. Any chance you can get me a meeting with uh, Mr. Manners?
Apparently not. So I'm not really sure to do uh, what to do. I don't have any leads to go on, at all. I know these tracks lead out to the vents north, but that doesn't mean they actually went north on the world map. There's the Culver City Brothel. Maybe they went there. It's kind of a weird place to go, though. I mean, the fact that the Manorites are holding one of my people hostage until I solve this implies that I can solve it quite quickly. It implies that it's somewhere nearby. But, like, I have no fucking idea. I don't know. I really need to meet this Mr. Manners, though. Let me try talking to this dude, see if he saw anything. Who have you seen come through here? Some civility enforcers came through not long ago. They were carrying someone between them, I think. I'm pretty sure they were headed towards the ventilation panels. Civility enforcers did this. I guess she's got some friends. It was weird because I could have sworn it was Nick Chauvin and Gene Kronk, but it couldn't have been. I must have been breathing too many syrup fumes. Robinsons don't go on CE patrols. Wait, so they stole uni they stole uniforms? Is what you're saying? Tell me about Nick Chauvin. It's one of the quiet, Rob quiet Robinsons. Not one of those pushy, in-your-face, loudmouth assholes. Uh, oh, I apologize. That was rude. He works in the cafeteria. And that's why it was weird to see him in CE clothes. And Kronk? Hangs out near the water tower. He says he's in charge of keeping the pumps running, but... Seriously? I've never seen the guy lift a finger, and his hands are always clean. Is it rude to talk about someone behind his back? Eh, kinda, but who cares? What can you tell me? What can you tell us about the Robinsons? They're definitely not a friendly bunch. Always talking about maximizing this and seizing that. So, oh, that's just generic. Never mind. I don't care about the Robinsons in general. Okay, so are those people? Did those people come back? The cook and the guy by the water tower. Well, let me put my clothes back on. Might be a little bit more imposing in my bondage vest. How's it going, John Wick? What can you tell us about Fletcher? He's gone. What about it? All I know is he was a dipshit who got smart and escaped some stupid-ass rules. We know he's gone. We heard you took him out of the Angel. Me? Sorry, man. I'm too lazy. That's what the man rights all say, anyway. Tori's always telling me to seize my power. But I'm doing some powerful relaxing. Roger Yee saw you and Nick Chauvin down on the farm carrying somebody. That doesn't seem lazy. Ah, oh, fuck. I told Elizaveta this wasn't a watertight plan. Alright, look. Here's the spot on the map where we took Fletcher. Thank you. Please don't tell Tori I had anything to do with this. If she finds out, I'm dead. Why would Tori care? I... I shouldn't have said anything. That's her business. You want to know? Ask her. You can find her at the cafeteria. Just don't tell her I sent you, alright? Okay, and why would you help Elizaveta? She's my cousin, alright? And blood is thicker than maximum power. <laughs> maximum strength. Maximum speed.
Let's go speak to Tori. And Jean. As well. He should be up here in the cafeteria. There he is. Or is it... Wait. Wasn't that Jean? But that's not Jean, that's Sam. Who was the other person? Nick Chauvin, that's right. Are, are you talking to me for a reason? Uh-huh, Fletcher. I have no idea what you're talking about. Probably kill me if you go ask... Uh, kill me if I tell you go ask Gene Kronk at the water tower? Okay. Sure, sure. Okay, Tori, what's going on? Did you have Fletcher kidnapped? They told you to talk to me? That's nuts. Seriously, did you have Fletcher kidnapped? Fine, I just wanted you to leave me alone. But it looks like you're a smart, well-versed dealer in human nature. So I regret the decision. You've seen how false and sugar-sweet all these people are to each other? Here's to honesty. You value honesty? Then tell us the truth. Yes, it's true. I should have had Fletcher's abductors stay out instead of making two teams. But here's the thing. I want to depose the current regime of personal abnegation and denial and put a system of personal power in its place. Now, I'm going to trust your discretion as a self-actualized individual to keep the nature of this particular strategy to yourself. And I hardly need mention that if you fail in this duty, it will simply be the word of a vagabond against that of a respected member of the community. You want our discretion? I think we can work a deal. You want to use the radio, I hear. I want the Colosseum, and no, I won't call it the Angel. What a stupid name. You help me take the Colosseum from Mr. Manners, and I'll make sure you get what you need. I don't want them to have it, but I don't want Mr. Manners to have it either. Mr. Manners is all polite, but is just, you know, the, the sort of person that would stab you with a smile on their face. I mean, they're just a bunch of murderers. But then again, even though I haven't seen the Robinsons be rather bloodthirsty murderers, there are people who apparently love power. Which is very dangerous. What do you know about Angel Oracle? I'll admit, it's an, I'll admit, it's a nice little setup they've got going on here. All this place needs is the proper leadership to help it maximize its potential. And how will you take the Angel Oracle? Just stay out of my way. By the time the execution happens, things should be cooking along nicely. If they don't, come back and we'll talk. Okay. And if everyone seizes ultimate power, what then? No kidding. Can I depose both of you? I suppose I can just start shooting up the place. Okay, well, let's head on over to Fletcher's hideout, but before that, let me see if I can give, what is it, Darla? Yeah, let me see if I can finally give her her water. No? Still no conversation option? Okay. Cool. Wait a minute. What? There's a friggin' pail? Nice highlighting! <laughs> the rope doesn't highlight. I never saw that. This thing highlights, but you can barely see it. Holy crap. Well, that makes things clear. Yes, place it in there. 
You're welcome. That was weird. I'm not really sure why it had to be so complicated. I mean, she asks you to get her water in a conversation, why can't you just give her the water in the same conversation? Weird. Alright, Fletcher. Come on. Come on back. Congratulations. Theodore. Four points, not enough for anything. Now entering Lovic. You'll never want to leave. Uh oh. Well, this ain't good. May we speak with you? Oh god, there's explosives everywhere. Hold on, hold on, sir. Oh god. Quickly! Okay. I'm hoping that thing's gonna come for us instead of Fletcher, because Fletcher has five hit points, and if anything so much as breathes in his direction, he is gonna be deaded. But thankfully, we got a cute little rob robot on our side. Alright, um, seven armor. Eight armor? Yeah, this is definitely an energy weapon time. Pew pew! Definitely a case for the anti-material rifle. Ten armor penetration, this thing is sexy. Oh man, with a headshot, 97% chance of hitting. Jesus Christ, you are... Well, there's a 97% chance that you're gonna die. rifle is amazing. That anti-material rifle is just freaking amazing. So six armor penetration gets something with seven armor. How much damage does it do? 48? Yeah, it's not bad. Go, worker bot, go! really need to get her a new energy weapon. This thing is... well, it does good damage, but it just awkwardly fits in with her amount of AP. And... that's it. Nine armor penetration. This thing is also beautiful. Let's see. Do I want to kill it with my assault rifles? Or with Helen's anti-material rifle? Let's do it with Helen's anti-material rifle. <gasps> Zero damage. <laughs> Alright, and now you die. help my little friend out here.
Wait a minute, there's another robot somewhere. Oh, right, the friendly robot is, yeah, listed up there as well. Get him, get him, yeah! Robot fight! Robot fight! And let's let the friendly robot finish him off. <laughs> Wait, that only did eight damage? The power of the blast barrels. The power of the blast barrels into Yulia Vasiliev doing eight points of damage. These really aren't even worth defusing. I'm not going to pick up this piston. It's too heavy. Screw it. Well, you know, whatever. I'm actually gonna... Yeah, I'm, I'm near a bunch of stores. It's fine. Hello there! Gonna have a talk in just a minute, but first I need to... jack some stuff. Impossible? What? Damn. A tank of volatile fuel sits precariously before you. Oh, I guess those are explosive. Master trauma kit. Nice. How you doing, Fletcher? I don't want to die. Your wife is coming here? Yes. She's the one who broke me out of the cage. Well, her cousin Jean did, actually. Him and Jean Kronk. But it was her idea. She didn't want to see me die for one of Tori's crazy schemes. I'm supposed to wait here until she can sneak away from the angel. I kind of have to take him back, even though I don't want him to die, obviously. What kind of crazy scheme are we talking about? I'm afraid it didn't make much sense to me. You'd have to ask Tori, or my wife. All I know is, somehow, me getting executed was going to solve everything for Tori. Okay, so... I think Tori wanted Fletcher to die. I think she wanted the execution to go through. So then she would have... She would use that as the driving force between... The driving force behind trying to take power. She's going to use that and, and point at it and look and just say, like, look at what Mr. Manners did. We need to take power from this crazy person. Use that as the impetus, if you will. Hmm. Who's Gene? I already know, but... Yep. Alright, well, we're not going to kill you, but we're going to take you back to the Angel. But they'll execute me if I go back. Don't you understand? Manners is holding one of our team hostage. They'll be executed if you don't go back. But the, it's monstrous. They blame you. I can't have someone die for me. All right, I'll come peacefully. Sure hope he doesn't get blown up by an explosive. He's only got five hit points after all. Watch your step, buddy. How do you open these things? There's something inside of here, but you just... 
can't open the door. I don't get it. Shrapnel flies and smoke chokes the air as a landmine explodes with an ear-splitting blast. Oh, it was the Provost. Now those are some big tomatoes. Or peppers, whatever that- God damn it, Provost! And while we're out here, I suppose we might as well look for some other stuff, too. After all, we need denture cream, uh, head and shoulders, generic version. Actually, hold on, that's... That's the brothel, actually. Hmm. I don't think I want to go up there and deal with that just yet. But let's go to the dentist, because that is, yeah, that is something I turn in here. Let's go get some denture cream. Because that's an appropriate thing to be doing when lives are on the line and it's time dependent. Oh shit, hi. Robots. Okay. Alright, I've got one shot of the anti-material rifle. Let's not use it on these. These are not too scary. Five armor penetration, not terrible, not great. Do I want to spray? Nah, it's not going to be able to move and attack us in the same turn. No reason to. Pew pew! Let's move back a bit. Damn. Ow. Seventy seven percent chance. Uh, let's back up a little bit. Oh, wow, that made a huge difference. It was a seventy seven percent chance to headshot, and now it's a hundred percent. And... Okay, you know, I've never actually used a skill during combat like this. So it takes 5 AP. 
and it looks like the chance of success is made easier dependent on the health of the enemy, because this one has 110 hit points and the chance is 92%. This one has full health, and it's 62. Well, the one that's easier to hack is actually the one that's going to have its turn next, so let's go ahead and hack that. You're mine now. <laughs> that is awesome. Now it's going to fight for me. Let's all gang up on this asshole. It occurs to me that uh, doing this while Fletcher is here is actually really bad. Because if he takes any damage, he's dead. Hmm. Oh well, we're fine. We do need to kill this, though. Like, now. Five armor penetration? It might do more damage in total to do this. Let's see. Yeah, that's more damage than one shot of her, uh, her energy weapon. Okay, yeah, you're dead. Copy, Ranger D. Echo 1, graduate. Helen, seven points, nice. Perception or weaponsmithing? Let's go with weaponsmithing. Because I believe there's something I wanted to install that I couldn't do unless I have eight. Uh, yeah, the flash suppressor. Vulture's Cry. Nine points, holy crap. Hmm. Safe cracking? Yeah, let's do safe cracking. Okay, so on whose weapon should we install the flash suppressor? It's just simply a increased chance to hit. Can't be used on shotguns. Can't be used on energy weapons. It's all, you know, because it's really high level, it's actually going to be hard to remove successfully. Which means I shouldn't just install it without really considering what I want to put it on. Because whatever I'm going to put it on, it's going to stay. So what am I going to stick with for a while? I think it's safe to say I'm going to stick with the AK-97s for quite a while. But I've already got a suppressor, so... I could put it on this one. Yeah, you know what, he sucks at aiming. Let's put it on this one. Give him give him a significant boost to his chance to hit. Plus 12%, that's awesome. Yeah, let me see what the chance to remove it is. 75%. That's actually a pretty good... Yeah, that's a pretty good chance, actually. So, pretty high probability that I can recover it if I need to. Alright, where's my denture creme? Creme brulee. Guard? Oh, sweet, there's a vendor. Just a bill. Hey, wanna trade? Sure. Symbol man. I like it. Ooh, hourglass. Plus one to kiss ass. Hell yeah, give me that. Alright, just sell our junk. Of course, we're going to keep the condoms, and the merkin, and that, and this, and that, and that. I don't need two broken toy robots. I don't know why this isn't listed as junk. There's got to be more stuff I can get rid of. I have an extra spaz. Uh, I'm gonna keep that, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. 
might want it for something. Plasma Beamer. Oh, we can get rid of that. Yeah, that's fine. Curly Bill. Howdy, partners. My name's Curly Bill. I'm a cowboy with all the gruff, no-nonsense attitude that comes along with it. You're a cowboy? More like a cowman. Sure, got my cows right over there, see? But I'm actually thinking of getting out of the cow racket. Maybe move into something more lucrative, like drugs or assassinations for hire. So, want to buy some cows and help make, uh, help me make a fresh start? Oh my god, I can see. Your fresh start is utterly evil. We're arresting you before you become a danger to the Los Angeles area. Oh, come on. Curly Bill's harmless. Wait a minute. Didn't somebody steal some cows? Wasn't this something I was supposed to do? Recover some stolen cows or were those sheep or something? Those might have been sheep, I'm not sure, and I don't think they were supposed to have gone this direction. I think they went south. Um. What would someone need to buy your cows? Well, all kinds of things. I'd want some seriously powerful guns, several sets of armor, a sizable payment of scrap, enough to build myself a small army. I could reach beyond my wildest dreams and take whatever I wanted. Wish I knew someone with a good connection for stuff like that. Tell me about your cows. Smelly, ornery, and unpleasant. But delicious when killed, cut into pieces, and burned. <laughs> you got any cat litter? Now, why would I have cat litter if I have cows? I'd need cow litter, wouldn't I? You people are strange. <laughs> Let's not arrest him just yet. Let's get what I came here for. <laughs> Murray Bill? <laughs> Murray Bill. They didn't even try to disguise his name. Just Murray Bill. Kill Bill. Murray Bill. Kill Bill. Whole Bill family. Alrighty. Nice talking with you. Dentist Bill. Suppose you got the cream? Whoa, hey, what are you doing back here? You weren't trying to steal something, were you? I work hard to keep this place up, and I don't want you coming into my practice and looting it. And by gum, do you have some nasty mandibles? You looking for some dental repair? We're looking for cat litter. Got any? You need it for radiation problems, right? Well, I wish I could help you, but that's not something I carry. What kind of practice is this? They call me Bill the Dentist. Not because I torture people through teeth, but because I'm an actual fucking dentist. And you're ruining my livelihood. Is there a lot of demand for dentistry? You think people around here take care of their dental needs? Nope. They come to me for cleanings and extractions. Mostly extractions, because they're such pussies that they're afraid of me and wait until the pain is too much to ignore. Why are people afraid? Too much pain, I guess. I'm not gentle, I admit. But then again, it's hard to be gentle with these people, uh, when these people have so much shit wrong with their mouths. You bring me some drugs for the pain, and I'll make it worth your while. Deal? You looking for drugs, man? You got some painkillers for me? Uh, apparently I do, sure. If it didn't sound fruity, I'd call you my hero. Ah, oh, fuck it. You're my hero. Thanks. And we got denture paste. Nice. Didn't even have to pay for it. Thank you. I think we might try to arrest this guy, actually. Just to see what happens. I'm curious. Locked, huh? We can fix that. Oh, damn. Maybe we can't. 
What are our chances if we do... Do... This. 27%. That ain't good, but then again, I'm never ever coming back here, so screw it. Wonderful. And the only person with mechanical repair is the dude that we left as a hostage, so... Yep. Pretty normal day, I'd say. Ooh, Pazepi does not have a trinket. So actually, I can just straight up give her... The Hourglass. Upgrade her kiss... Wait, no, she's not the one that does kiss ass. She's the one that does smart ass. It's Theodore. Do you have a trinket? Plus one leadership. Hmm. Leadership is good. Increases everybody's chance to hit by about 2%. Which, you know, when you have a party of... 6 to 7 people, makes a big difference. Um, I think I'll stick with what I've got. I think 8 kiss ass is enough for any skill check that I've seen so far. Okay, we got some beef here. Your fresh start is utterly evil. We're arresting you before you become a danger to the Los Angeles area. Seventy hit points. You know, when I said arrest, I didn't really want to kill him, but uh, I guess we—I guess we don't actually have handcuffs, do we? All right, what did he say? Curly Bill said, "Utterly evil." <laughs> That's a good one. I, oh shit, you're serious. Fuck off, Rangers. You won't take me without a fight. Is there a unique way I can kill him? Boom. Curly Bill is tied up. Ooh, kinky. I'm pretty sure that only matters to melee characters. I th I'm assuming tied up means they can't move, but again, they're not melee, so it doesn't really matter. They can just shoot us. Alright, time to go spastic. Let's make sure we don't hit the cows or my own people. And you're dead. Ah, justice. Let's talk to the cows. It's actually not super easy, so let's put this on. I have no idea what this is going to do. Are they going to follow us? Do I want it to follow us? Plus one coordination. <laughs> rolling, 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 keep them doggies rolling, Rawhide. Okay. Um, I don't think I want them to follow us, because they're just going to die. Oh my god, look at the picture for the cow. It's, um... I, I don't know, it looks like it wants to eat me. Looks like it's slobbering. Then go home. Time to go home, critter. Yeah, they only have one hit point. They're gonna die from anything and everything. Looks like all these robots. It's like all these robots are doing the down dog. Turning the other cheek was for a
Okay. Well, we have Denture Cream and we have Fletcher. So, something big is about to happen. I believe the Robinsons are about to try to take control. Hopefully I can make that not be the case, but then again, I don't want the, you know, the Mannerites to have control either, so... Maybe I'll have to kill everybody? That seems to be my general solution to everything. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.